Number 33, calculate the following to four significant figures, and then we have letter C. So in this case, they want us to find the percent of calcium ion in Ca3PO4 2. Okay, so we want to find a percent of calcium in the entire compound. So there's a formula for this. We're just trying to find out a percent, right? And a percent is basically part over whole. So we can know it as this formula. A percent of anything is always a part divided by a whole times 100. So in this case, the part is the amount of the element that you want. So this would be the part. And then the total amount at the bottom, that's the whole, right? That's the total. So I'll just say part and then whole times 100. In this case, we specifically want to find the percent of calcium. But still, we need to find the whole amount, aka we need to find the molar mass of the whole compound. So let's get it going. Ca3PO4, 2. That's our compound. Break it up into all the elements that you see. In this case, we have three elements. We have calcium, we have a phosphorus, and we have an oxygen. So I have Ca, P, and O. The next thing you're going to do is you're just going to say how many you have of the calcium, phosphorus, and oxygen by looking at the subscripts. Now, there's a three here, which tells me that I have three calciums. There's a secret one right next to the phosphorus, right? But remember, anything in parentheses, that number outside has to get multiplied, and you got to be fair. You got to do it for both of them. So for phosphorus, it's one times two. So there's really two phosphorus in the compound. And then for oxygen, there was a four here, but four times two is eight. Now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply those numbers by the molar mass that's found on the periodic table. So I'm gonna get my periodic table out and you get yours out and let's see if we get roughly the same molar masses. So I'm just looking on my periodic table for calcium and it's in group two. Calcium is 40.08 and that unit is gram per mole. Phosphorus, it's in group 15 or 5A, it's a nonmetal. So that one is 30.97 and that's gram per mole. And then oxygen is close to phosphorus, it's 16.00 gram per mole. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the three values. So let's see what we get. So three times 40.08 is 120.24. And that's also gram per mole of the calcium. 2 times 30.97 is 61.94, and that's the gram per mole of the total of the phosphorus. And then 8 times 16 is 128. I'm just going to add the two zeros, and that's the gram per mole total for the oxygen. Now to find the total molar mass, all you have to do is just add the three numbers up. So the 120.24 plus the 61.94 plus the 128. So my total molar mass would be 310.18. And that's in grams per mole. But just know that this is the total amount. That's going to go on the bottom. Now, they specifically asked for the calcium ion, right? So which element are we looking for? Ah, yeah, we're looking for the calcium. Now, does it really matter that it's in an ion? No. They specifically are asking for Ca2+. The ion in this is 2+. Remember, you can crisscross the subscripts back up. So in this case, the 2 told me that the calcium was a plus 2. You could also know this by knowing that all group 2 uh, metals are a plus 2 charge. But it doesn't matter that you have this 
your answer is not going to change whether you put the two plus or not. I'm just going to put the two plus because they did say the ion. Okay, so the amount of the calcium, the total amount is this, 120.24, divided by, right, the total amount. And the total amount, the total molar mass was 310.18. When I'm doing this math, I don't usually put my units because I just make sure that I have the right units beforehand. But since we did it the right way, we're good. And now all we have to do is just take that and times it by 100. So the percent calcium would be, drum roll please, 120.24 divided by 310.18 times 100. Four sig figs, because that's what they want. 38.76. And that's the total amount of calcium ion in this compound. So out of the whole compound, calcium phosphate, Ca3PO42, calcium takes up about 38% or 39 if we're rounding, 38.76. And that's it. Guys, what'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Have an awesome day and keep studying hard, okay? You guys got this. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.